All right, welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. We got trial number two. We are um, just going straight into the fire here. We got zero wins with our teamer Teemo control deck. Even though I liked our deck a lot, if we could have just got that first win, we would have been able to get a second copy of Teemo, and I think that would have helped our deck quite a bit. But both uh, both of our games that we played, we didn't draw the Teemo, and so we kind of got uh, overrun by some big creatures. Um, but I think that deck had had a lot of potential if we could have gotten a win or two. But anyway, uh, live live by the Teemo, die by the Teemo. Let's begin at trial number two. We got to get our seven win trial now because uh, we did not do as well the first one. So here we go. Here's next draft and last draft of the week. Ooh, we got some good ones. Um, well, yeah, we got some good ones. So, you know, Draven... Again, Noxious get to be real aggressive, which I've found I've found Noxious to be very good in the draft. Um, so, you know, we can just kind of do that. And then we have Draven with Draven's biggest fan. That means that we get to always draw the Draven. And Saboteur is a good one drop also. So two good one drops to go along with the Draven is pretty nice. We can go self-sacrifice theme with Thresh, um, which Thresh is pretty strong. And Crocolith, and then Chronicler of Ruin. I love Chronicler of Ruin. I think this card is amazing, um, especially the self-sacrifice theme. We can we can really build a sweet deck. We did yesterday with that kind of stuff. Um, or we could go Trindomir, and Trindomir is super powerful. Just a huge bomb. Uh, just ends games, like basically whenever you play it. It's an eight-four trample. They have to kill it. Whenever they kill it, it comes back as a nine-nine trample. It's just incredible. Um, and then we'd have a, a Stefan and an Elixir of Iron for protection. Not really a bad choice here. Um, yeah, Trindomir. Yeah, the whole sacrifice theme is very s strong. Um, I kind of like the sacrifice theme more than the other stuff. Just like, it's fun to play. But Trindomir is just just so strong in this format um and this this draven bucket is a good bucket so tough tough call looks like most people are like looking at the votes we got we got most people voting for uh this middle bucket going self-sacrifice so all right let's let's try it let's try the sacrifice theme yeah all, all three of these are good Sacrifice theme. Ooh. These are not good things to pair sacrifice with necessarily. We can just go back grab the grab the Trindomir, which I I don't mind that, and just get you know a solid three drop four drop. Darius also is very uh, very powerful, um, you know. And then we can we you know we can pair Noxus with uh, the sacrifice stuff and just be aggressive. I don't love Decimate, but Trifarian is very good. Or we could go Garen. I th I think I don't really want to go Garen and stuff like that. That doesn't really fit. I think I want to do one of these two. Um, but Swiftwing Lancer is just amazing, and actually the Vanguard Redeemer is really good. I mean, these are three really good cards, so maybe we should go Demacian Steel. And Demacian Steel is just a solid place to be. Redeemer is, you know, kind of fits the sacrifice theme. You know, if we had something die, you play, you get a get a draw card. Yeah, Garen, Garen's very good too. All three of these are very good. We can't really go wrong, to be honest. Um, besides, all right. So the three champions are all really good. The next best card is probably the Lancer. And yeah, like Lancer, Redeem Lancer and Redeemer are better than Decimate, Trifarian, and better than Stefan and Bull Elmick. Um, Garen's probably my least favorite of the three, though. I think probably, probably it goes Trindomir, then Darius, then Garen, power level of those. But these two cards are definitely better than any of these other. So I guess... 
I guess we go this route. Let's see what people are voting. Nobody's voting for Darius. Everybody's voting for either Trindamir or Garen. It's pretty split, but a little bit more with Garen, so we'll go Garen. All right, we get a Mistwraith and a, another Crocolith. I need to, we need, I don't really want to take another Crocolith immediately because we need to find the things to sacrifice first. We can take another Lancer, which is really strong, and a Four Demacia. I don't love Four Demacia, but Lancer's really strong. Or a Mistwraith and a Vengeance. Get a removal spell. Hmm. I would, I want to take a Mistwraith plus a Lancer or two Mistwraiths. Like basically, the three cards I want the most are Mithrace, Lancer, and Mithrace. Those, and then Crocolith and Four Demacia are the cards I want the least. Vengeance is the card I want the fourth. So, You love Vengeance in the Expeditions? Okay, just get, getting the quick removal spell. The games do go longer and everything. But y'all, some of y'all want just another grab another Lancer. I don't really want this four Demacia card. Hmm. More people are voting for Mist Wraith Vengeance. Four Demacia could be good with. I mean, honestly, if we're we're like making like, like the things that can't block, like the one one can't block, and you know they they're just not blocking it. You know, we four Demacia make them bigger. Hmm. All right, everybody's voting for this thing. Over here. I could see this this middle pile being better though. I do already have three five drops. It would be taking a fourth five drop. I'm gonna take this though. Lancer is really good. We're gonna take that. Alright, haunted relic and glimpse beyond. Vanguard Sergeant and Mage Seeker Conservator. This is the that's the one I want. Wraith Caller. Oh no, that card's amazing. And Vengeance. Oh no. Okay, well. So basically, I wanted Mage Seeker Conservator because I want some like a good thing to sacrifice. You know, right? Like I want things that are good to sacrifice. And Sergeant, you know, is three mana draw card. And like this is a one drop. I wanted a one drop, but Wraith Caller is like the best card that we have here. I'm I'm still I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this. I want the early game. Yuck. Alright, I don't love any of these buckets. So I'm gonna take the Tiana Tiana Crown Guard because it's the just the best card. I don't really love these buckets. Secession is pretty average. But the crown guard is just the best card. This card can be in incredible. So I'm going to take that. Two different ways to play this. You know, so whenever you summon, rally means you get to attack. So like on your attack step, if you just go straight to attacks and then post combat afterwards, then you play Tiana and then you get to attack again. Or of course you can play it on their turn and then attack. Two good ways to play that card. I want cheap creatures to sacrifice, but I've been kind of taking too much Demacia stuff. We're we're basically like not going with the Demacia theme, it, it seems like. But we need we need cheaper creatures. We need ones and twos. Like that's what I need right now, or one one mana and two mana creatures. And these are not these are not those. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we can just use Chronicler to to kill like any of these, you know, like kill these things like a, you know, Swift Week Lancer. We make it, we kill something with Lancer and now Lancer is a 5-1 and then we, you know, ruin it. But the problem with that, you know, like this ancient Crocolith could just be dead in our hand. So 5 mana 5-5 five, five tough is a really good solid creature, but we already have a good bunch of good 5 mana creatures. Mobilize is pretty meh barrier like this prismatic barrier is nice detain i don't love but i guess that's probably just our best bucket yeah i agree all right so we can get a second tiana and a four demacia 
which I don't really want. We get a Mage Seeker Investigator. So whenever you play it, if you cast a spell this round, remove all text and keywords from an enemy follower. So you have to... Hmm. I think I'm going to do this last pile. Get the Aristocrat. Get the good one one drop, two drop. We, we need one drops and two drops. Let's get a one drop, two drop. Yep, and it has the sacrifice thing. I like it. Mark of the Isles and Cursed Keeper. I love Cursed Keeper. Mark of the Isles works really well with it. Mark of the Isles is a good card, so I like this one. Arachnid Horror, that's a good two drop. And then a five mana removal spell. And then Battlesmith and Secession. How are we doing on Elites? We could kind of go to the Elite deck. That's two, three... Eh. No, let's just take this first bucket. Let's get Curse Keeper. This card's just awesome. And Mark of Isles is a good trick, too. I like one and two mana cards. I mean, that they all had... All buckets had good two drops. All right, Defender and Cavalry. Two good elites. Purify and Detain. I don't love Detain. I don't really like Brood Awakening. Glimpse Beyond's good. So I guess we're just going to take the two drop, five drop with Defender Cavalry. It's a pretty tough pick. Hey, Marias. Yep, we need more two drops. I agree. Back to back, Blight. Bright Steel Protector. That's a, that's a good bucket. Like those are those are good picks. Possession is good. Fleet Feather Tracker is good. Oblivious Islander. Play Grant an Ally in hand, Ephemeral, and reduce its cost by one. And Chronicler of Ruin. That's a good bucket too. Man, these are all these are all pretty good picks. Hmm. So to make Islander good, we really need to have something that we want to sacrifice. Basically, Chronicler of Ruin is just awesome. Islander is maybe not spectacular. <laughs> yeah, we could we could steal their things and then sacrifice. We could do that. Back to back is such an awesome trick. And Protector is a good two drop also. I think the best card is Chronicler of Ruin. But then the next best card may be back to back, honestly. Hmm. I really want this Chronicler of Ruin, and then I want any of these other four cards. Like, all four of these cards are pretty good. I think the Islander is the card I want the least. So it's the card I want the most, and the card I want the least, and here's four cards I like. Yeah, because Islander just doesn't really fit our deck, honestly, unless we unless we start getting a whole bunch more Cursed Keepers. It really doesn't fit our deck too well, unfortunately. Yeah, it's basically, yeah, it's basically just the Keeper. I mean, uh, you could put it on, like, tr Crown Guard, get that out a turn earlier if that's going to win the game. Yeah, I'll just take the first one. That hurts. Passing a Chronicler of Ruin. Passing Chronicler of Ruin really hurts. Well, this is an easy pick. Um, yeah, so we don't really need another back-to-back -back Radiant Strike. Glimpse Beyond, we need more things to sacrifice. We're going this one. Scythria the Bold is awesome. And Mage Seeker Conservator is a good thing to sacrifice and a good one drop. So yeah, I want the one drop and the really super powerful six drop. Uh, drain four from an ally unit. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. Scuttle guys, soul gorger, vengeance, radiant strike, battlesmith. All right, how are we doing? We're doing pretty good on elites. I kind of want to take this battlesmith over here, actually. Do we have one? Two? This this counts. So three. Pretty sure that counts. Yeah, that should count. So three. Four, five. Oh, the Lancers aren't. 
that hurts. Six, seven. You know, seven elites. Sure, answer two man, T2. Yeah, it's true. Whenever Lancer dies, you make some. All right, so Squire and Cavalry, which is perfectly fine. A Barrier and Secession. Ethereal Remitter and Black Spear. This is definitely the, the one over here. Remitter is awesome. Kill an ally, summon a random follower from any region that costs two more. And Black Spear. So we can, you know, we kill our own two drop. We get a four drop. We can kill like a Lancer after we Lancer Challenger and it has like one toughness. We can kill it and then get a random seven drop. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're definitely doing this one. All right, and our last pick, we got Scribe of Sorrows, which is really good, and Butcher, Scribe of Sorrows, and Scuttlegeist, or this last one that we're not doing. All right, so we're going to get a Scribe of Sorrows, and then do we want a Butcher or a Scuttlegeist? So we're going to take the Scribe of Sorrows. Um, we don't really have enough. I mean, we have a few things to sacrifice, but not really enough. I'll take the Scuttlegeist. All right, we can trade. We can trade. Uh, I don't like these trades. The only one, so I like, no, I like Four Demacia more than Detain. I like Radiant Strike more than Brood Awakening. Um, this one maybe... We don't, we don't have any other mist rates, so we ha only have the one. So it's just a two mana, two, two fearsome. Like, that's it. So that's not amazing. Um, so we could take a Vengeance, but I don't know. We we have a pretty high top end. Like, we have cards that cost five or more. We have 12 out of our 30 cards. That's, you know, much more than a third of our deck. So I don't, I don't really want to trade a two for a seven. Here we go. So we were going to start with the self-sacrifice theme, but then it kind of morphed into a, an elite Demacia deck. We have kind of like a half and half deck here. Uh, we have we have a couple of removal spells, right? I think we do. We have like one something. We don't really need removal. Thanks, Blade. We don't really need removal. Famous last words against Heimerdinger. Replace, replace. That egg. Hello. I'm actually here. Yes, you are. Well, this worked out pretty well. We've drawn the Crocolith with like, two things that we actually want to sacrifice. Instead of playing the, the Mist Wraith right now, I'm going to play this thing because we may draw like a better three drop to play. Clump of Wumps. Is there Teemo? No. They just got Clump of Wumps. <clears throat> so yeah, we're not going to play Scrap of Sorrows with nothing dying. Obviously, I could have attacked with the Hapless Aristocrat also, and then played the Sorrows and drawn Aristocrat, but I want to try to draw a better card, if possible. Yeah, 4 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. And then we also get a 4-4 four, four, and a 1-1. One, one. So this will be a 4-mana 7-7 seven, seven that turns this 1-1 one, one into a 4-4. Four, four. Also gives a plus 3, plus 3. Create a random epic in hand. That does sound pretty good.
I think that was good for us. Hello, fellow Play, pick a follower, transform me into exact copy of it. <laughs> Dang. Chump. Chump of lumps. Hey, Depali. Um, no real plans to do right now. I'm enjoying Legends of Urtera a lot more. This game's pretty awesome if you haven't tried it out. Highly recommend it. Alright, so we get our five puff caps. Ooh. Hmm. So they're going to challenge. And a long path to get here. So I could have played the Chronicler and killed that 7-5 and then revived it. But if I did that... The problem is, is if I did that, um, then they would just eat my Chronicler of Ruin, which... I don't know, maybe that's not the worst problem. So we've had a lot of good things die, so we're going to play the Sorrows and hopefully draw something pretty good. My journey continues. Which we did. We got a Swiftling Lancer. Nice. The Scribe of Sorrows making a Scribe of Sorrows. Get to go infinite with those. So powerful. Scribe of Sorrows, Chronicler of Ruin. Really need to build a constructed deck with all this stuff. Tough gap. Can only get one more creature out on the battlefield right now. Those things are four fours. Yeah, Narset always finds another Narset. Yep. Cool. Cleaned up that battlefield for me. The Vanguard stand as one. To the field. 
attack. I will hold the line. You don't scare me. Face me. Not my first fight. So this puts them down to three. Cool, Blade. Yeah, glad glad you're you're understanding this game and enjoying it and everything. Awesome. Yeah, this game's awesome. All right, so now I can use. So I got I got one spot back opened again. We can black spear to kill this thing. Uh, I think I actually, I, you know, I can play the lancer with my last spot here, but I think I actually just want to play scribe of sorrows and draw another card. I could be wrong. Refreshment from a crossroads era. I like drawing cards though. Ooh, got another curse keeper. <laughs> um, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't know, Rad. I I think I'm gonna change my change my Twitch and YouTube names. Something to do with like Hawktie. Get the M the MTG out of my name. Like a flower. Oh, that card's great. Oh no. <sighs> That's super scary. <sighs> That's super scary. So basically. The top five cards of the deck, however many spells they have, it does that much damage to all my stuff. Um, it's very scary. Behold my masterwork. No, three. Ouch. Those four things. It looks good at first with creature creature. They did, yeah, that's true. They did like those cards are all gone, so you know they got rid of the their Heimerdinger. That is true. Victory lies ahead. Thanks, Alexis Pros. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what's up, Bertalux? Uh, let's see. That's a pretty good card. Mm. I want this thing to attack last. I'm gonna pull this. What? Oh, right here. There we go. Goodbye. Let's take this outside. What's the worst? <laughs> oh, let's see. So we're going to give... We're going to give... This plus one plus one. Now, 
want to protect this Scythria. It's not really a way for me to do that though. So I'm losing I'm losing these three and they're losing their whole board right now. That's a good random elite to get. A 3-3 three, three that draws a card. What a spring in your step in stars mm. in your own. Three two draw two. They still have a bun a whole bunch of gas over here. Oh wow. Oh man, I'm one mana short. Oh, I have seven. This costs eight. Oh, this would have been incredible. Justice for Demacia. Oh, yes. Did I love you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so the extra mana can only be used for spells. And, uh, you know, so for creatures. You, you have to use this mana here. The, the extra mana that you have banked can only be used for spells. Grant that thing elusive. They still have a whole bunch of mana over there. You do some scary stuff. If I have this detain, that could maybe be a blowout. Yeah, detaining on the keeper is not a bad idea. Two lefts, then a right. We don't need top siders. Mm, I could let them strike. Ah, uh, they they could have the deal two damage though. They're they're playing Piltover and Zon, so they can have Mystic Shot, the deal two damage thing. A crown guard never falters. Happy to do whatever's needed. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, or any yeah pump spells. But of course, I, if they had a pump spell, I would wait. Yeah, you know, I would respond to the pump spell. So like, I I wouldn't have to worry about pump spells. Can't get through this way. Are you lost? Yeah, I don't. Sure, boss. Don't have the mana for that. Looks like maybe they have get excited. Can't get through this way. Watch the ways. This is my home. Yeah, there's get excited, deal three damage. It's a good thing I didn't just let the damage happen. Yeah, rally is pretty ridiculous. Now it's my turn to attack. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I had no mana to pump. Looks like they did have a Mystic Shot also. So maybe I had two ways to kill me if I didn't kill their Garen. Well, I'm liking our deck. That was just one game. That was a one really long game. This deck feels pretty powerful, though. All right, we hit our quest. We got our daily player versus player bonus, match reward. 1,500 experience. Level up. All right, we got something cool. All right, we'll resume the trial in a little bit. Golden chest. All right, so golden chest is four commons and a rare, looks like. We'll take it. Back alley barkeep seems like it could be... Oh, then it also has 348 shards. Cool. The back alley barkeep seems seems like that could be something fun to build around and construct it also. All right, so let's continue. So we get another, yeah, get another champion. Um, I don't. All right, so we can get another Garen, but I don't really like chain vest at all. Vanguard Squire is fine, but not anything special. So like these two cards aren't really that great. We could get a second Thresh. Oh, Ethereal Remitter. This card's amazing. Well, now I want to take this. Warden's Prey. Oh, Warden's Prey is actually really good, too. So, yeah, let, I think I want that middle one. Lux is good. But, and we have we have some expensive spells. You know, like, we are a four Demacia deck. Uh, I guess we don't really have that many expensive spells, four Demacia. So, yeah, let's. I'm going to take this one because Remitter is amazing and Warden's Prey is really good. Oh yeah, I bet barkeep. Yeah, you can get a bunch of barkeeps in expedition. I bet that is pretty crazy. But what if what if we do like barkeep with, um, with you know like the the kill the thing and then revive it? You know, what if we make a deck built around built around those cards? Like that seems pretty sweet. Yeah, just get yeah the value for days. Time to get my hands dirty. That could be a cool last breath value deck I like that. Let me write write this idea down so I remember to to try that out. Last breath value. Ready for deployment. Especially with control being so popular right now. The card that shuffles extra copies into your deck. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? Discipline and steal. See, that's what we have. You know, Sergeant. You know, it's a three mana three three. You play it, you draw a card. It's a one mana one one. Whenever it dies, you draw a card. One mana one one. Whenever it dies, you make a four four. Iron Harbinger. Two four fearsome. Attack Rami plus one plus zero for each ephemeral ally. Okay. That's true, we don't really have four drops. That's very true. I've got your back. I think I'm gonna bank the mana 
instead of playing this elite. I'm going to bake the two mana. I was hoping that Garen was going to block one of the three power things. So they have Garen and Hecarim. Oh, I oh, what did I add? Yeah, I added a second thresh. Uh, because the, the bucket with the second thresh was very good. Okay, Stand United could be good. So now thresh just saw four things die that round. So we can wait. So can Thre Thresh can bring another Thresh attacking. Stay resolute. Yes, man, that's sweet. Ooh, Scrap Sorrow is nice. You're covered. Garen's going to be able to flip. Start of each round rally. Show them what we're made of. Hey, number 15. Yeah, no, I, I think I think you're right. I think that makes sense. The Thresh can bring along another Thresh. I think that makes sense. So whenever Garen transforms, it's going to be a 6-6 that start of the round rally. We must not relent! <laughs> Do you like the new the new name Vertilux? Summon two spectral riders post combat. What's the point of doing that? All that does is flip flip my thresh. Oh, that's why. Because you get to rally. going down to four. This is, oh gosh. That was really bad for me.
That was really bad for me. That really hurts. I really need that Sithra. Maybe I just shouldn't have blocked a Sithra and just blocked like the 3-3 three, three or something. Because my plan was to to challenger their Garen and then flip the Sithra in the the Thresh and have the Sithra kill their Garen. But it looks like they had tricks that, that wouldn't really worked anyway. I don't I don't really have a good play here. Where are you? She let you run. Very good. Courage, soldier. Hope this works. I wanted to play this this one drop first. Oh right. I get a Garen, that's sweet. Forgot about that part. But I wanted to play that one drop first in case they went straight to combat and where I had like the jump blocker for their Garen. Seems like they must have a trick here. No? They're just kind of bl blocking out. I guess they're staying alive. Yeah, not a lot they could have at two mana. All right, what is this thing? Pick an ally in hand, summon a copy of it, and it's ephemeral. That thing that's fearsome. So that thing's fearsome, that thing's fearsome. Both fear, so I couldn't block with the small creatures. Darn. Well, I mean that's not bad anyway. So we only get to summon an attacking champion from the deck or hand, but all of our champions are gone. No, because if I do the swap, then it gives them barriers. So they don't even kill the, the Cursed Keeper, even if I do the, the swap thing. Yes. So, yeah, trying to trying to set that up, you know, the Challenger swap, I guess doesn't really work too well with the barrier, the whole barrier thing. I can, I could set it up to have, like, surprise lethal. I guess I could have tried, I could have tried doing that. 
like with attacking with this 3-2 also and then you know like flip over here to like being unblocked I guess I guess I could have done that. I could have attacked out and had lethal. Looks like, but oh well. I mean, yeah, so I could have tried doing that. Just playing it safe though. We're in a good spot. What do we get? Ooh. Legion Grenadier. That's a good one. Today we turn the tide of war. Injustice. We get to rally at the beginning of combat, or like at the beginning of the turn. But I still attack first. Do we just get to do the seven? Awesome. There we go, 2 0. GG's. Alright, we get to swap. What do we want to swap? Swap for Demacia for a Prismatic Barrier. I don't hate the swap. Trade Defender for Scuttlegeist or trade Radiant Strike for Black Spear. I think I like this last one. Getting a Black Spear. Yeah, I like this last one. Two ends. First trial wasn't spectacular, but we're making up for it here. Lucian and Ash. Those are a couple of good ones. Especially Lucian. I will keep. One, two, three, four. Draw some cards if things die. I will keep. Fedricide protect me. Where's the up arrow? Okay. We weren't expecting fallers. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Warships. He's gonna be so happy. <laughs> I know my numbers. Oh, then we drew a five drop. So yeah, so it was one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, my B. So I don't need to play this uh, Redeemer right away. I'm going to cast the session first. Because I, I want to sa I want both of these in play to sacrifice to the Crocolith. Feel the scissors. Can't fight on an empty stomach. I will hold the line. Ugh. All right, that's fine. Crocolith. Battle Fury.
That could be pretty powerful. Dude, our deck is sweet. They may have their war shafts block my 4 4. And then they play another creature and then they have their 2 1 kill my 4 4. Okay, now they're just blocking the 7 drop. That's probably smart too. I guess I'm going to play the Lancer on their turn and then try to have Lancer challenger and kill something of theirs. Um, then, like, whenever I untap, Lancer have it kill something of theirs and then play Remitter. And kill my Lancer and get it, turn it into a 7-drop. So hopefully we'll have this be removal and then 7-drop. That's a, like that's the the route we're going to go. You know, obviously I can kill the Conservator and get a 3-drop. But, you know, we're only getting a 3-drop. We want to we want to use Remitter to get something real big. Okay, so I'm going to just be blocking these two things. So we get to wait. What? This thing's a five-seven. Okay, standalone. I think I should have just swung with the team. So this thing dying does will create an elite in hand also. Bleh, not a very good elite. Oh, our seven drop was good though. The Savage Reckoner. I guess if I would have done that pre I guess I should have done that pre-combat. That would have been a good one to have. Next turn is going to be turn eight. Eight mana. They're at eight life. Flavor, it's uh, so I just want to play my biggest creature, I think. No, because they're probably going to attack and I'm probably going to have things die. Let's. I guess I'll play Scrap of Sorrows. Get back the 5 4. Bleh. Making the dead deader. They probably attack. And then something dies, and then I get to play the Redeemer and draw another card. Yeah, looks like they attacked. Eat up, friend. Hmm. 
Hmm. Search that. Oh yeah, I could just use the four three to kill the war chefs. Yeah, I don't I don't know why I'm not doing that. Or even just the seven the seven four. Sight protect me. Yeah, <laughs> math is hard. Yeah, just just thinking. I was basically thinking more about like the next turn of what I wanted to be doing there. Honestly, I was thinking a lot about that next turn. Do I want to go all in? No. Sentinels of light don't fear. The reason why I don't need to is because we can still have this that does three here, now two here, one here. So I don't need to really risk spending my entire turn and seeing if they have removal spell. Yeah, I got the fancy lethal. Boom. All right, six more. Uh, we need 600 more experience. We get a champion capsule, which there's only two champions that I need in in Piltover and Zahn. I don't. I have no Ezra's or uh, Timos, so it's going to be one of those. All right. So another Thresh, a Spectral Matron. Pick an Allen Hand. Summon an exact copy of it. It's ephemeral. Gosh, that card's good too. And then a Crocolith. I don't really want another Crocolith. A Garen, another Lancer, and a Reinforcements. I don't really love that one. I don't really want Reinforcements, honestly. Hmm. The last card in all of these, Crocolith and Reinforcements, I don't really want. So... I don't know if we... I don't really want a third Thresh either. I wonder if Lux would be good in our deck. You know, like we have these conservatories that make some big spells. Reinforcements would be a big spell. And I think I'm going to take this last pile, honestly. You think I should just take the Garen? I don't know. I have so many fives. Like everything costs five. I have nine five drops. I think I want to take the six and the four. Eight. Ugh. I don't really love any of these buckets. Not enough spells for Lux. I mean, well, so both of these conservators, these make six plus mana spells for Lux. Um, we have the... Where are you at? 
the sergeant that makes a four Demacia, which is a six mana spell. So that's three things that make six mana spells. We also have, you know, back to back. Um, we have a four Demacia. I think we kind of have like a good amount of spells. Repost will be a spell. Reinforcements will be a spell. Um, and then, you know, like Scribosaros can, can make more of, of like these things and stuff like that. I, I think I'm going to do Lux. I think have we seen these games have played, we we do kind of um, gum up the board pretty good. And so a card like Lux that re rewards you for playing the spells, I think that's kind of nice too. Get rid of 554. Five, cool, that's a good hand. Wow. Fedricide protect me. Got even better. Bring me tea. Yeah, st the speaking of spells, bread. they got a couple of karmas and a couple of karams. It's not bad at all. Pass. Mm. Think it fast? Oh, we weren't expecting fallers. Try to keep up. Halt. Hecarim. I'll just get another Mage Seeker Conservator. I'm happy with that. The order rewards is faithful. We basically just have to survive and play a longer game. We are definitely going to outgrind our opponent, but they're going to win a fast, uh, quicker game. So I, I need to do what I can to survive. Hmm. Black Spear could be good. The dark so many years, so much yeah, that is true. Har harsh winds, winds could ruin that thing. That is true. I'm about to attack for a lot. Confine and contain. About to attack for a lot. So we'll have two four fours, a three three, a two three, a seven seven. What does he want from me? I don't really want anything from you. Another harsh winds. I do get these good, like these are really great chump blockers, but just leave me alone. I want to go home. That's right. That's how it is. Moves up close. Gotta stay alive from these flyers. Which is possible. Time for a leap of faith. Mm. It's not great. Now who's got the other hand? 
It's eight damage in the eight damage elusive right now. Ooh. Yeah, I can, so yeah, I can use harsh winds. It's just it's expensive. It's you know it's a, I can basically use it to fog two things, but that's you know it's a really expensive fog. You know, hoping we can kill one thing with the with the lancer here. We could use yeah, we could use detain also. That's true, we can we can do that too. You'll thank me later. Oh, I'm not I'm not like this turn, but yeah, you were probably asking about this past turn. We gave that thing plus three plus three. It's kind of annoying. Something more. Oh, it's on. This is part of training. Hmm. I can go for lethal by throwing this plus three plus three on one of these things. I had to go for it because even if they even if they had a trick that would blow up the lethal, then we would still be able to use like frostbite or like on this kind of stuff, like not have all of our things die. So even if they had like Will of Ionia and bounced or something like that, it kind of looked like they're like I thought they were gonna bounce the like with not blocking the crocolith at all. It kind of felt like they were gonna bounce the crocolith and make me sacrifice two things again, and so I was worried about that. Okay, I like that first trade, trading Detain for, you know, just trading a five mana card for a Vanguard Sergeant. Trade for Demacia for Scuttlegeist, or trade Secession for Black Spear. I don't, maybe I don't want that first trade. I don't know, Detain, I don't love Detain, but it's, it can save you. You know, like whenever you're in those combat situations, it can save you. The Sergeant is an elite so Sergeant's an Elite, which is good for Battlesmith. It's a 3-drop for the Curve. It's an ETB trick creature for, like, Scribe of Sorrows. Uh, it gets me a 6-mana spell for Lux. Like, it does a lot for us. I do. I'm going to take the Vanguard. Okay, sorry. Um, get that back. Get that back. Yeah, 
Yeah, it basically it works just like deputy of detention. Um, like when you detain some, you, you know, it's like you, it's like you deputy of detention something. Time to get my hands dirty. Give an ally and all other allies of its group plus three plus three and overwhelm this round. That could be very useful. Maybe I should just bank the mana here. That could be very useful with elites. You know, we do have a lot of elites. In Avarosa's name. I want to make another one of those one ones. I don't really want to make a one of these three twos. You'll thank me later. Do you have a good amount of leads? Honor guide me. Ready the torches. Where you go, I go. That card's good. A Demacia soldier is worth ten foes. You said we don't have very many spells. Look at all these spells in our deck. See, Lux could be good. So soon they're gonna attack with this thing. I'm going to block here and try to give it plus one plus one or plus three plus three and ephemeral. Hope that works. Sweet. What do we got now? Oh man, talk about a powerful spell. The six strongest units that died this game. We'll bring peace karma. To I like karma. Approaching the battlefront. Karma's really good. Or Demacia. Yeah, so they got Karma, Lux, Trindamir. Seems like they have a pretty good late game also. Those are three different... Three different regions. Courage, soldier. Confine and contain. Show them on battle! Halt. This isn't part of the training. So it's a slow spell. So I would give. I only have two elites right now. And play for the pack mentality. I need to draw some more creatures. It's not usually what I need to do, but that's what I need to do right now. That's good. That's a great one. Oh yeah, Lux. Yeah, Lux would be a great. Yeah, Lux would have been a great draw too for sure. But I'll take this. Um, Swift Wing Lanza. And we'll bank two mana. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Ugh. Yep, that's my plan. Yeah, another four Demacia next turn. Force the Karma to block. Uh, they do get to eat one of my two twos now, though. It's unfortunate.
So 10 mana. I'll still have a repost available. Stand strong. My blade grows restless. Trindamir. Is Trindamir just going to kill me? Seems like it's possible this Trinomir just kills me. If you want to see the decks that we're playing later on, also the exclamation point decks command works now. I have all of my decks from the last few days and the ones from uh, later on on the mobile attic site there. Let the light guide you. So there's Lux. Like I, I could just play this harrowing as just defense. It, it gets, you know, three things out. But yeah, the, the, I don't think there's anything big, though. You can't, like, check anything. In I guess you can check, like, here. Oh, I guess it would get karma, but it's still it's not not like big toughness wise. I stand ready. So this right here is only going to be doing seven damage. That's about as good as I can do. Blocking. That's all I can do, really. Okay, we're not dead. Not dead yet. My sword is yours to command. No doubt. Totally victory.
Sweet. Okay, these things have Overwhelm. What do they have? No, not Judgment. Ouch. Maybe I need to do it to this thing. I don't know. I'm just pretty dead now. I guess I had to do. Maybe I need to do it on the on the Trindamir. Now the Trindamir just kills me. That was definitely the worst possible card for me to see. Judgment. Man, they still have so much mana and so many cards. Ouch. All right, picked up a loss. Trindamir, still a bomb. And so is Judgment. So, picked up a loss, but we can resume the trial. Um, I do not want to do that first trade. I like the second trade. I like that one drop better. And we have, we have enough. I mean, Radiant Guardian is really strong, but we have enough... Five mana cards. I'm going to get this Warren's Prey. Warden's Prey. Yeah, that would have been a great... Yeah, that would have been a great time for Vengeance if I if I would have had a Vengeance. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have had the mana for Vengeance because I played that Overwhelm card, so I wouldn't have had the mana, but... Um, yeah, that, that... Judgment just got me really bad. Let's replace this thing. I'm going to keep the other one drops and I want to keep the thrash. The chains, they never stop. Shuffle two enraged Yeti into the deck. It's an underrated card, too. and contain. Gonna kill the hare. No, poor bunny. The wolf. Watch out for the wolf. I can, I'll just bank three mana. Not so bad. If you have a Yeti, summon an enraged Yeti. Yuck. All 
Alright, jumpers. Hey, look at that. Get another one of those things. Crocolith. Cool, got a Cursed Keeper. Ugh, I don't like Brood Awakening. To pretend. Fading to pretend. Calm before the screams. So I want to get Thresh down right away. So we can start seeing things die. They may frostbite something, but that's okay. Yeah, that is, that is a pretty suspicious just straight up pass. Huh. This went through, though. Ah, the Heimerdinger. Well, this could be rough. This could be rough. It's smaller than the diagram. You can have three of each card in a deck for constructed in in uh, limited in like the expedition that we're doing here you get just as many as you draw really got flash of brilliance it's just the best possible card to have with heimerdinger it's annoying the vanguard stand is one yeah, three cards. Yeah, you can have you can have three copies of each thing in constructed. Um, because because you just play forty card decks, and so you can have three out of the forty. They get a seven-one barrier. Fethrasite, protect me. Well, we can chump block that with the one-one. They get to kill my Thresh, though. Looks like maybe I should have played the Bright Seal Protector and. You'll go no far. Gave the Thresh a barrier. It's too late, though. That is... What a great... That's a great draw. That's a great draw. Give them a chance to play another creature. They have a lot of ways they can mess this up. You know, so if you have a creature with five plus ally, kill all units with four or less power. They have a lot of spells that can mess this up. You know, they can obviously just... They can play Deny to counter this. They can play anything to remove my 5-4. Um, yeah, they could, they could have Frostbite. This is... Yeah, this is very scary, but... I'm in a rough spot with that Heimerdinger out. Yeah! It worked.
All right, we've got Heimerdinger out of here. Eyes blazing, bright as torches. That's big game. My shield is yours. Right out. That is big game, getting Heimerdinger out of here. Oh, dang, you just lost the final boss. No, dang, I'm sorry about that. Still good run, getting there, get that six wins. That's still a good, definitely a good run. A storm approaches. One life in exchange. That was not a very good 7 drop to get. Our ancestors are watching. That could have been a better 7 drop. Now it's just a 4-2 elusive. The seven drops are pretty weak, are they? Is it better to get like a six drop? Like I could have killed, or right, let's see, I guess I could have got a four drop by killing that thing. The last time we got, we did the seven drop earlier, we did, we got seven four challenger with overwhelm. So I'm glad they have to act first, as far as their tricks. Grant two allies plus zero plus three. The West Coast. Um, so let's see, if I kill this, I get an, an egg. Start of the round, if you're enlightened, transform me back. And so then next round they will be enlightened, so they'll just, so killing this doesn't really make much sense. But I guess, Deal two to all enemies? So if I, if I kill this with Black Spear, it's just going to come back, right? So there's just no reason to kill that thing. Oh, I could have marked. Oh, okay. I could have used the mark to make that thing like a three-three, and then yeah, then then they get the egg, and then I kill the egg. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't. Yeah, I just didn't really think of that line. Yeah, that that would have worked. Yeah. So okay, because it's like re, yeah, it's like rekindling phoenix. Because then yeah, I could have just bolted the egg. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I should have done that. 
Okay. Well, lesson learned. Um, I can... Okay. I can cast this for Demacia, and then my creatures don't die. Okay, so yeah, that, that would have been a better line. Yeah, it's very, very sad to use it. I just used like that very good card against just the attack trigger of um, Anivia. Anivia is probably the better way to say that. Anivia. Deal two to all units. Okay. Wrapped in cold silence. I really want to keep this barrier available to protect Thresh. So I'm not gonna play this scrap of sorrows. For my homeland. Does to do uh, all my stuff again. I joined them. Why? Why was it a free block? Oh, with the thing that was about to die. Oh, okay. I could have put that thing in front. <sighs> Come on. Uh. What do I have? I can have Garen and Lux. I would have got a better card than this Brood Awakening. Why are y'all saying no? I'm not I'm not attacking with the two three. Yeah, I know I need I need room for the summon. I'm gonna attack with these stupid two ones though. Oh, I should have saved that for Lux. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I gotta save it for Lux. <laughs> it was Lux. Stand 
and defend. I'll protect you. So I want to save Thrash. Wish this could go upstairs. Three damage over here. That'd be nice. So they got two cards with the Mushroom Cloud. Do we kill Anivia? Get Anivia out of here? Yes! All right, Nivia out of here. Awesome. Acceptable. I don't even know if that was bad for me, honestly. We get a six mana spell, which I only need one mana of spells now, but oh well. <laughs> Tiana! Alright, let's see. Ah, opponent surrendered! <sighs> Man, we've had some really intense games with this deck, that's for sure. We've had some really, really intense games. Really long games. Our, our deck can play a, a great, has a great long game. Um, I forgot we had back to back in the deck. I forgot we had that in the deck. But ethereal, ethereal remitter is just so great. I kind of need to do that trade. Rekindler is pretty good too, but I'm, I'm not going to trade that. I'm going to keep the Chronicler, and then Cavalry for reinforcements. Eh, I don't. I don't love either. I think, I mean, I think I just take the Ethereal Remitter, right? Just how good this card is. I don't know. Maybe, has it has it not been that good for us? Maybe I just keep the back for back. Back to back. Okay, actually, I'll just, I'll just skip the trade. I'm going to keep the back to back. All right, five wins. Yeah, yo, we've had a lot of close games with this in this league. Definitely word there too. Okay, replace. And I mean maybe I should just keep back to back, honestly. Yeah, actually maybe I just keep it. It's gonna be useful later. Yeah, we finally drew Battlesmith. We'll see how that goes. Gotta still curving out. Cause that's what I was thinking. It's like back to back's just a good top end spell, like where we're gonna still draw the stuff in the middle. Cause you know we still have like all these other draw steps. So I can play Sergeant on three, and then I can Chronicler the Sergeant and basically draw two four Demacias. Um, or I can Chronicler the Warden's Prey and get another Last Breath Follower. So basically I can have an extra four Demacia or an extra Last Breath Follower in hand. I'm now thinking we need the extra last breath follower <laughs> with the crocolith. These old eyes still see far and clear. Show them our metal. Mm. That's not a good attack. Mm-hmm. 
Ash. Ugh. This is not a very good Last Breath follower. I don't want to discard any of these cards. They have two mana back. In Avarosa's name. Well, I'm gonna try. Wow. No trick. Wow. Yeah, I thought Brittle Steel or the plus zero plus two. For justice, for Demacia. Thought we could have written one of those down. I could discard I could discard Mist Wraith. Hmm. I don't know. They just pass. I'm just gonna pass back. We'll make them waste all this mana. They definitely had something up there. They had something up their sleeve, for sure. Winter is the all right, Marias, take care. Ruler. Start of the round, Frostbite, the strongest enemy. Well, that's gonna be my seven seven. We're all about giving allies plus three, plus three over here. You cannot stall judgment. Yeah, but some, sometimes plus three, plus zero. We can do that too. Ice runs in our veins. If I play the five drop, I don't get to double spell with any of these things. I can't really protect it with anything where, you know, I'm definitely feeling like they have tricks for what they've done before.
What am I doing? I attack for Ga attack with Garen also. I have protection. I attack with Garen. I don't need to be scared. But yeah, I think I think they are they want to frost breath. Like here, I think they want to frost breath and then do that, but I have riposte like protection. That's gonna be a draw three. Yeah, I probably should have just attacked with Garen. I don't need to just play this out and do one to, to both. I just don't need to be that hasty. Like, maybe they make a block later on in the game where we put them down to one and they don't know that we're about to kill them with this. Or maybe I have an, a free slot where I can play this and then start playing for Demacia and make it a 3 4 and attack for Demacia. And so. Basically, just don't have to do anything there. The winds are so harsh. Still have seven cards over there. Ledros? Yuck. Hmm. This is not good. That was too passive. Maybe it should have cast for Demacia and then attacked out with everything. Yeah, I don't get to draw a card, but we'll get in play. Soldier. 
This is gonna be tough. Yeah, I should have been more aggressive the previous turn. That's that's where I really lost this game. I was not not as aggressive enough with the four Demacia. That turn when they played Ledros, and I really didn't do anything except for play a little four four. Why is Battlesmith not an elite itself? That may be too good if it wasn't elite itself. Got some heavy hitters over there. Uh, cause yeah, it's just he's just a smith, not a not an elite soldier. Just a battlesmith. This makes the armor. So they do two damage to everything, which turns this 1-1 one, one into a 4-4. Four, four. Three elites right now. If I want to just cast we this thing, I think we'll wait. We're just going to do a bunch of trades, which a whole bunch of trades is good for me. Oh, this doesn't get to, to block. Gross. Gross.
So it's one, two, three. No, that, that block kills me. So I have to jump with that thing too. I have to block with all of my elites. Oh, the trample damage. Yeah, so okay, yeah, I forgot about the trample also. So yeah, I was just dead. That's unfortunate I don't, don't get to block with that, you know, how like that 1-1 one, one was going to turn into a 4-4, four, four, but I don't get to block with it. So I guess, so like that's that's why I played it, because I was thinking I was going to be able to block with the 4-4, four, four, but I didn't get to block with it, so I should have played the other 1-1, because I, I had like another 1-1 one, one in hand that I could have played instead. And I guess that's what I should have done. I didn't realize it was going to work exactly like that, to be honest. Um, so yeah, like that's... I played the wrong, the wrong one one on my turn. All right, I'm not doing this last trade. I like the conservator, even though Black Spear is like the best card for us to get here. I think I want to do this middle one, trade secession for Glimpse Beyond. Glimpse Beyond seems like it'd be a good card for us to have access to. I could do this first one, uh, trade the four Demacia away. No, I want to do this last one. I'm gonna or this middle one. I'm gonna trade this secession away, and get a glimpse beyond. I think that works pretty well in our deck. All right, so now if we lose, we're done. If we win, but then we lose, we're done. Um, so basically, we have up to two more matches. We're single elimination now. So we got to win both of them to get to the seven wins. Hey, Coconut Twitch. Uh, yeah, I got it. Yes, you are right. I do need to finish that Luigi's Mansion playthrough um, with me moving and stuff. I actually haven't unpacked my Switch at all yet. But yeah, that'll definitely be a, a fun thing to play through. Um, sometime soon, because yeah, I, I would like to finish that Luigi's Mansion playthrough. Maybe the beginning of next week or like Monday. You're welcome. Do you have do you have a day that, that you'd really like to, to watch it? Monday seems like Yeah, maybe Monday. Monday seems like that could be a good day. Take a look at this. To do the extra you know, basically do like an extra long stream. Um You'll go no far. Anytime's fine? Okay. Yeah, that game's a lot of fun to play. And we, we had a lot of fun with the with it the first time. No. Looks like a, looks like blocking did not work out for me. I'm on it. Where Oh, that's a good one. Still want that extra creature for the crocolith. And it looks like I'm not getting any value out of any of this stuff. Watch and learn. Gotcha. Get a Nexus Strike? Mystic Shot? Nope, they did not. So, you know, we're just banking the mana. Ooh. 
yeah, there there are kind of some rough draws there, but we can still come back. Obviously, we got to kill Ezreal. Ezreal and Heimerdinger. And Jinx, they, they probably have a pretty good deck. It's another thing we got to kill. Yep, there's no booster packs. You can just buy what you want. Yep. Um, there is like a limit of what you can buy, but yeah, basically you just buy wild cards. And then, you know, you use the shards to craft whatever you want. What's up, Skippy? One shot, all skill. Sweet. I'm going to pass to them. No, they don't have any protection because they would have used the protection just a little bit ago if they did. No way. Yeah, nice. Two champions down. Ezreal Jinx down. So, how many champions do we have? So, we have four champions. Two Thresh, one Garen, one Lux. So, they'll have four also. So, they have they have one Heimerdinger plus one of one of the three. Round six. Uh, we can get spiderlings. Gross. All right. Well, there's a jinx. So that means they have they have that, and they just have one Heimerdinger left. You're covered. Once you win, once you get the three wins, then you have the fourth? Okay. Yeah, for Constructed, it's just it's just 40 cards. I don't think you can have more than four. Yeah, you can't have more or less than 40. You just build, a, you just build an exactly 40 card deck for Constructed. And you get three copies each. You can have three copies of, of anything in it. Yep, correct. No sideboard. Even though it's a best of one game, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like you need sideboards. Like it doesn't feel like you know you play like you never play non games. Like it's always interactive, back and forth because like the man is always good and everything like that. Ouch. So I wanted to play Thresh before stuff started dying. That's what I was thinking. But obviously that hurt. No closer. Oh, this, this just has elusive for good? That just grants elusive always? Uh-oh. Back with 
So yeah, I should have blocked with the, I should have blocked this thing with the two three. Because then I, I guess I was just gonna sacrifice the one the one one. So I, I could have had this being a four one. Yuck! Let me get another jinx back. Oh, they're playing Rekindlers. That's how they got the, the Jinx back. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they've had two Rekindlers to get these Jinxes back. Okay. Right. Join the conflagration. Well, I have to hope they don't just go straight to combat. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I d well, basically, I just have to hope they don't have two direct damage. Which is pretty likely that they have two direct damage. Oh, part of the plan I just made up. I am not afraid. Got time, time to wait for tomorrow. Please don't have two direct damage. Hold nothing back. Yep, they have a mystic shot. Darn. So it wasn't our best. It wasn't our best trial day today. All right, but we got another champion uh, capsule. All right, let's uh, claim our rewards from this first. So we get a golden chest, a champion card, and 600 shards. So let's see what this all is. So our golden chest. Got an extra copy there. Not bad. Okay, Battle's Fury. Not bad, not bad cards. And then 327 shards also in the golden chest. So then our champion card is a Draven. All right. Got a Draven. Yes, yeah, true, five wins isn't bad. Teemo. All right, first Teemo. I wanted Ezreal. But it was just a 50-50 shot with Ezreal and Teemo because I have I have three copies of the other two, um, Jinx and uh, Heimerdinger. Because of course Teemo, you have to have all three Teemos to play a Teemo deck. I guess kind of the same thing with Ezreal though. All right. Anyway, we got. I got some other good cards. All right. Static Shock's a good playable, for sure, and got upgraded to a rare wild card. Okay. Uh, so there we go. So there was our second uh, expedition. So that that's going to conclude our expeditions for the week. Um, but now, whenever you finish, because that's our third one. So we're going to be doing expeditions on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Um with you know like the new whenever it's the new week so the rest of the days here we'll have um you know we'll just be playing constructed and trying to rank up um and everything but um for those y'all playing legends of runeterra at home whenever whenever if you do get through three expeditions in a week then how it says open play here you get to just play them for free and you know you don't have to worry about the entry fee you don't get the rewards at the end except for the experience but so we saw we you get a good amount of experience for expeditions. You know, if you get a seven win, you get fifteen hundred experience. But so you can just kind of practice and practice as much as you want, and it'll just kind of keep keep track of how many seven wins you get. Um, 
Teemo counters Ezreal in Constructed. Ooh, I bet it does, because, yeah, Ezreal draws a whole lot of cards, and so they're drawing more cards. That means it's more puff caps they get. Okay. All right, so there we go. So now we, we have um, two, two decks that we're going to be playing today uh, that we're going to be moving to. Up next, Heimer Karma Control, a uh, deck that I built, and then Spider's Aggro. We updated it and upgraded it, and it it's looking uh, a lot meaner and faster. So we'll have those two decks. Um, but those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, and thank you so much for watching. But And uh, that's it here, though, for our expeditions. And I'll see you for the next video.